Well, hey guys, get excited. Today is the video you have been waiting for, the Target skincare dupes you need to know about. Over the past few months, I have been trying out a ton of the Target store brand up and up versions of some of our favorite skincare products. Are these worth saving a dollar to five dollars on your favorites or should you just stick with what you know? Up and up sports sunscreen lotion, SPF 50, water resistant. I have to say, I have rather enjoyed this for my body. This is a chemical sunscreen, AKA organic. It doesn't leave any white cast. It is free of fragrance. It's very fast absorbing, non-greasy. It is a fantastic option for sweaty, humid conditions. If you're gonna be outdoors participating in sport, it's really hot and uncomfortable uh, because it's so quick absorbing. It allows for good evaporation of sweat so that you don't feel overheated. And then when you're sweating a lot, the fact that it's water resistant ensures that it stays on a little better. Of course, when you are outdoors, you do need to re apply every two hours because sunscreen is not you know a shield of armor it rubs off I wish this would be one we could use on our face but for me it blinded me it is inspired by banana boat sport performance SPF 50 sunscreen lotion I think banana boat did away with that because it's not on their website they have a sport sunscreen that has fragrance this does not have fragrance the sport sunscreen from target is five dollars and 19 cents for 10.4 ounces it has sodium ascorbyl phosphate that is a stable form of vitamin c that um, shows promise for being beneficial for people who have acne prone breakout prone skin it may help minimize the burden of damage as it relates to oxidative stress and free radicals and all of those things. I really like this. The price point cannot be beat. This was definitely a win for the body. The Up and Up Mineral Sunscreen Lotion. This is a zinc and titanium dioxide sunscreen, aka a mineral sunscreen. Now, this is very casty, which is to be expected for an all mineral sunscreen. This works really well around the eyes. If you are someone who is sensitive to chemical sunscreens around your eyes, this works really well around the eyes. And it is why water resistant up to 80 minutes. Another feature I really like in, in mineral sunscreens to be using around the eyes is the water resistance factor because not only does it hold up a little bit better, but it's less likely to run into your eyes with sweat. So I really like that feature of it, but the cast on it, you know, it's not like a winning formula. For me personally, this product reminds me, it doesn't say it's inspired by anybody. I just went ahead and grabbed it. Copper tone, pure and simple mineral sunscreen lotion. The ingredients are very similar. No fragrance, uh, mineral sunscreen. The copper tone one on the other hand is a zinc only sunscreen, but as far as how they look, they look very similar and they're priced the same. So I would actually go with the copper tone, pure and simple, because in my experience, the copper tone, pure and simple, the cast is a touch better, still heavy, but not as heavy as this. And they're the same price point. This is not really that special. So at the end of the day, it's not bad, It's but it's not like an award-winning formula. Uh, and there are similar name brand mineral sunscreens that are the same price. This is a new summer skincare staple for me. I love it so much. It is the up and up sports sunscreen lip balm spf 50 water resistant now this is a chemical sunscreen no cast but for some people i have read the comments from you guys you do find that you get a little bit of tingling some of you find that it's irritating for me that has not been the case and sometimes my lips can be easily irritated by chemical sunscreens this one does not bother me whatsoever maybe because it's free of not only fragrance, but flavorance as well. And I think for me personally, those are common lip irritants. I mean, they're common lip irritants by and large and kind of hard to escape in lip care products. Um, this leaves no white cast. It uh, is moisturizing. It has a very simple ingredient list. Uh, it's water resistant, which oddly enough, a lot of lip SPFs you will run into, they don't have the water resistant feature. And when it comes to the lips, sunscreen that you're putting on your lips, it's gonna rub off even quicker than what you would use to the rest of your face. Cause you're talking, you know, me, I'm always running my mouth, uh, eating, drinking. And so things, you know, you just need to reapply a lot more frequently with lip 
SPF. Now this does have coconut oil in it. Some people find that coconut oil in skincare products aggravates their acne, so be aware of that. You get two tubes for $3.69. Now it's inspired by Banana Boat Sport Lip Sunscreen, which is very good. I've, I've since tried it out since trying this, and it's equally as good, same ingredients. The Banana Boat one, however, is $5.79 for two tubes. So that's not like, it's super expensive, but the up and up one is significantly less expensive and just as good. Moving on to facial moisturizers, one of which has sunscreen in it, Morning Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Now this is the up and up version, as I almost throw it at you, of CeraVe AM. So this is a hybrid sunscreen, just like CeraVe AM, meaning it has mineral active ingredients and chemical active ingredients, or as I like to say, organic and inorganic active ingredients. Now this one is a daily facial moisturizer. It's not water resistant, nor is a CeraVe one. So it's not something that you wanna rely on if you're gonna be outdoors doing sport, but it is a great everyday facial moisturizer that has sunscreen in it. And when used correctly, you can get very good broad spectrum uh, UVA, UVB protection from a product like this. The cast on this, like the CeraVe one, is pretty mild. It has some good ingredients in the base that are moisturizing, ceramides, Niacinamide, which I know some of you find irritating, but it is by and large a very good and functional ingredient. It has a lot of uh, benefits for the skin. It's an antioxidant, it's anti-inflammatory, it's good for hyperpigmentation, redness, skin yellowing, it has anti-aging benefits, it's good for acne prone skin. Um, the list goes on and on. So if you tolerate it, it's a great ingredient. In contrast to the CeraVe AM, this has a very strong medicinal odor, but it spreads on the skin very similarly, looks the same, feels the same. It's fragrance free, but there's a strong medicated kind of aroma to this. Uh, so be aware of that. And if you find that off-putting, then you may want to just go back to CeraVe AM. Otherwise, this is very, very similar. This is $11.99 for three ounces, whereas CeraVe AM is $16.99 for three ounces. I would say the main trade-off with this is that it has that medicinal aroma to it. Now, moving on to the nighttime facial moisturizer. This is uh, inspired by CeraVe PM. Very similar ingredients. Again, niacinamide, ceramides, um, like the AM, it also has hyaluronic acid, humectant, which is good for hydrating. This is a very nice facial moisturizer for people who have oily acne prone skin. It's super lightweight. In comparison to CeraVe PM, this is even lighter in consistency. Uh, the CeraVe PM has always, in my opinion, been a nice lightweight facial moisturizer. This is a thinner, lighter texture in comparison to that. There is definitely a textural difference between CeraVe PM and this. Uh, so it's honestly going to be a matter of personal preference. If you're someone who has very oily skin, I actually think you may prefer the nighttime facial moisturizing lotion from Up and Up over CeraVe PM. Whereas if you're someone who is maybe, you know, not so oily or somewhere in the middle, or, you know, a lot of dry skin types really like CeraVe PM too, um, it is a very good moisturizer. You may prefer to just stick with that. $10.39 for three ounces, whereas CeraVe is, again, gonna be $16.99 for three ounces. So that right there, you know, it can save you quite a bit. These are very good though. And the differences that I've highlighted um, between these and their CeraVe lookalikes are very, very subtle. And so I, I don't really think that you are going to be too bothered by these subtle differences. Now, you always have to keep savings in mind when it comes to what current deal is going on or if you have a coupon, um, because sometimes it, it may not end up saving you any money. I should have mentioned this at the beginning. It, sometimes it may not end up saving you money to go with the store brand. You may have a coupon or there may be some deal going on for CeraVe and price point wise, it ends up working out the same. So, you know, look out for but if you are trying to pinch pennies where you can and there's no current CeraVe deal going on, I honestly don't think you're going to, you're going to notice much of a difference. The, the differences I pointed out are very, very subtle. This is a facial moisturizer and that is inspired by a product I have loved, loved, loved for years. If you go back to the beginning of my channel, I think I was using um, it and it's the Neutrogena Oil-Free Sensitive Skin Lotion. Oh my gosh, you guys, I realized this though the other day, much to my sadness, that Neutrogena Neutrogena has discontinued 
these oil-free facial moisturizers. They had one that was for sensitive skin, one for combination skin, one for oily skin. They had one with SPF 15 in it. Those were holy grail facial moisturizers for me uh, back in the day, like right around the time I was starting this channel or in the years leading up to me starting this channel, I was heavily, you know, I was consistently using the, those Neutrogena moisturizers. They've since discontinued it. I mean, Neutrogena has Hydra Boost, which is, is a holy grail for me. So I'm not, you know, I'm not left out in the rain, so to speak, but I am sad that those are gone. So if you are like me and you adore the Neutrogena oil-free sensitive skin lotion, you can't get it anymore, you definitely should try the um, Up and Up oil-free facial moisturizer sensitive skin because this is very, very similar. I would say in consistency from my memory because again, it's not available anymore. And it's been some time since I've used the Neutrogena one, which is no longer available. But from, from my memory, I would say that this is a touch heavier and, and, and thicker uh, in consistency. You may feel it's a little bit heavier, but si similar ingredients, dimethicone, petrolatum. There's no niacinamide in this. There's no hyaluronic acid. Those are ingredients which are good, wonderful, but a subset of you find that either of those are irritating and, and you know, you have a difficult time of finding products free of, of those ingredients. This is free, free of those. Um, but before you add to cart, hold that thought because I have something coming in that's gonna blow your mind in a moment. This is $8.79 for four ounces, much less expensive than the, um, than the PM facial moisturizer we just talked about, which was $10.39 for three ounces. Now this doesn't have as many, this doesn't have unique you know, bar skin barrier supporting ingredients like ceramide. Uh, it doesn't have niacinamide. It doesn't have hyaluronic acid, but you may, you may want to avoid those because they irritate your skin. You're like, oh yeah, I love that Neutrogena oil-free sensitive skin lotion. I guess I'm going to, you know, swing on into Target and grab this up and up version of it. Hold that thought because you guys, you guys, I mean, I have had my mind blown with this product. Um, seriously. And I pointed this out to you multiple times uh, in Target. Like I, a winter skincare shop with me in Target video, this caught my eye. It does not disappoint. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Advanced Repair Unscented Body Lotion. It is inspired by Vaseline's Intensive Care Advanced Repair Unscented, which the Vaseline uh, uh, Intensive Care Lotion, I love. This is, is just like that, but it's also just like this, which blew my mind. The ingredients are very similar. They both have petrolatum. You know, this one is labeled oil-free, whereas this one has mineral oil in it, but the consistencies are so similar. The look, the feel, um, they're both free of fragrance. This on your face feels the same, at least to me, it feels the same as this feels the exact same. So this is one, y'all know I'm a huge fan of body products that can be used on the face. I like a big pump that I can just use from head to toe and I, you know, I don't have to have less clutter, less stuff to buy. Um, now that being said, some people who have uh, very oily, acne prone skin, they find that if they use a body moisturizer on their face, the consistencies of a lot of body moisturizers, body lotions are much thicker. Some people with acne prone skin or people with rosacea find that those heavier moisturizers from body products, they, they don't tolerate them on the face. But I would still say try this because my experience using it, it's very, very similar in look, feel, consistency to this um, oil-free facial moisturizer um, that it's definitely worth considering trying it on your face, but it's a great body moisturizer. So it's not a loss. And guys, I mean, this is, are you ready for it? $2.59 for the 20.3 ounces, which is a steal. In comparison, the um, Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair Unscented is $8.49 for 32 ounces. So the this is roughly 13 cents an ounce and the Vaseline product is roughly 26 cents an ounce. So that right there is a huge savings if you've been using the Vaseline one. Um, but if you if you buy this, go ahead and do a little sneaky, sneaky test on your face, because this right here, for me at least, is a great head to toe head to toe moisturizer. No niacinamide for those of you who are sensitive to it. No hyaluronic acid. I mean, it's, it's a fragrance free, kind of no nonsense 
body moisturizer works well. This is great if you have eczema prone skin. Now this is the up and up version of Neutrogena's oil-free salicylic acid acne cleanser. 2% salicylic acid, lather it to areas on the face where you tend to get breakouts, leave it on the skin for a few minutes and then rinse it off. You get the benefits of salicylic acid, which is an exfoliant for uh, specifically really beneficial for exfoliating the pores, targeting blackheads, whiteheads, otherwise known as comedones. Salicylic acid can also be beneficial for those of you whose skin heals with hyperpigmentation. Uh, but the nice thing about using it in a wash form is that not only do you get those benefits, but you rinse it off so you have a short, what's called short contact therapy, you end up with less irritation from the active ingredient as opposed to like a leave-on product. Um, and I have used the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash as a teenager all the time. This is very, very similar, but the consistency is much thicker compared to the Neutrogena one. It's like they added a little bit too much thickener to this. It's, you know, it lathers just fine uh, or whatever, but it's just the uh, consistency thing. This has fragrance like the Neutrogena one. The fragrance on this is a bit it to, not to my liking. I mean, I don't love the Neutrogena fragrance, but this one smells more like Dawn dish soap, which is not pleasant, especially first thing in the morning. I find it to be a bit of a nauseating scent. But if you can get past that and, and you're okay with the slight uh, increase in thickness with this, it is a bit of a savings, uh, but honestly, not much. If you know, so for me, it's like, um, I'm just gonna stick with the Neutrogena one because this one is $7.69 for 9.1 ounces, whereas the Neutrogena one is $8.59 for 9.1 ounces. I prefer to not have that Dawn dish soap smell and I like the texture of the Neutrogena one better. It's just a silkier, smoother lather to it. 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. Now this is great for those of you who get breakouts. Benzoyl peroxide uh, is a acne treatment that not only targets the acne causing bacteria, the cutie bacterium acne, but benzoyl peroxide also is anti-inflammatory. And the nice thing about benzoyl peroxide is that it, the bacteria on your skin, there's no risk of them becoming resistant to it as can occur with anti topical antibiotics. So that's great. You know, it's, it's a, a healthier way to target those bacteria over the long run. Unfortunately, benzoyl peroxide can be pretty drying, but a lot of advances have been made to benzoyl peroxide formulas and, and uh, you know, they're getting better, they're getting easier to tolerate. And this one is wonderful. It's 2.5% benzoyl peroxide, uh, a pretty low percentage, but honestly, that is just as effective as the higher stuff at, at preventing and, and clearing up breakouts, but with less irritation. Now, the way to use this is, it's, it's labeled as a spot treatment, but truthfully, when it comes to acne, um, you really, if you really want to get the most bang for your buck out of this, you, you treat the entire, treat the entire face sparing around the eyes and around the mouth, those sensitive areas. But by treating the entire face, treating widespread areas, you help prevent breakouts in the neighboring skin. See, a lot of people will lean on a product like this. Once they get a pimple, they'll start using this and yeah, it'll help it clear up faster. But wouldn't it be nice if you could have something that you're using that prevents them in the first place from popping up. And to do that, just use this to the entire face. A real stumbling block people run into with benzoyl peroxide is it can, it can be super drying. That's why the 2.5% strength is nice. But the other thing is not to go ham with it. Just use a super, super thin film. You don't need big globs uh, for this to be effective. And you can use it alongside with moisturizers to help minimize some of the dryness. I have to say this formula is really, is really nice. It's free of fragrance, $5.19 for the 0.75 ounces. It's inspired by a Neutrogena product, which is $7.39 for 0.75 ounces. So not, not a huge, I mean, roughly $2, a, a little over $2, uh, you know, that adds up. Both are great, but honestly, I think, you know, you wouldn't, wouldn't notice much of a difference using this. They, uh, they did a good job formulating this. Like the Neutrogena one, it's not overly drying for benzoyl peroxide. A word of warning though, if you've never used benzoyl peroxide, especially if you're leaving it on the skin, you're not using it in a wash form, it will bleach stuff. It will bleach fabrics, clothing. So be really careful, like when you get ready in the morning, um, get dressed 
and then do your skincare routine and put like a towel around your face. Let the benzoyl peroxide dry really carefully, really thoroughly before you know you go touching things because it will, if it gets on your clothing, it will bleach them or your towels and things of that sort. You could use it in the morning and or in the evening um, depending on your routine. But if you're looking for a benzoyl peroxide leave-on, definitely give that a try. All right, let's move into some things that are passes. First of all is this triple action foot cream. I had high hopes for this. I, you know, it does have fragrance and essential oils, namely peppermint oil, which kind of gives it a little bit of a tingle, but I had high, high hopes for it because it's a urea foot cream. And you know, if you watched any of my videos on like why you have dry cracked heels or you know, my videos on foot care, urea is great for like callus, your nails, softens, exfoliates, deeply hydrates. And so I had high hopes for this. It's very underwhelming. It did not help soften callus. Um, it's very watery. I don't recommend it. It was not good. Now, that being said, I've never actually tried the Gold Bond Therapeutic Foot foot cream. I would I would instead point you to Dermatonic Soothing Foot Cream is a great urea foot cream or the Carousel foot ointment is really good too. This is just, I, I don't know, very underwhelming in my opinion. I do not, I didn't care for this whatsoever. It did nothing for me. I paid $3.99 for the four ounces. Not like too, too bad. The Gold Bond one is $5.59. Speaking of not it, this is one that is not a good dupe. This is the up and up version of Aveeno's Skin Relief Body Wash. And first of all, performance wise, you definitely notice a difference in the performance, the texture, the consistency. The Aveeno one is creamier. It has a nice silky lather. Um, this one is not as creamy or as silky. It's thin. The main issue I have with this, in contrast to the Aveeno one, is that they snuck in the isothiazolinone preservatives, which the Aveeno one does not have. And if you're not aware, um, that specifically methyl isothiazolinone and methyl chloroisothiazolinone, the thiazolinone preservatives, they are common allergens. With paraben phobia, parabens are preservatives that a lot of people are terrified of, even though they're perfectly safe. Um, they're very low risk of contact dermatitis. People fear mongered parabens so much that a lot of brands or whatever replace those with the thiazolinones, which are a lot more problematic um, in that they're a common allergen. $4.29 for 18 ounces, whereas the Aveeno one, which is more, a lot more expensive, is $8.69 for 16 ounces. But I, I would not go, I would not go with this. You're getting a subpar product. Three in one micellar cleansing water, which is inspired by Garnier's micellar water. I tried Garnier's micellar water in the past and it, it was a fail for me. So, the, and this is no different. And what I mean by fail is first of all, I find that it stings and burns the skin. Second of all, I don't like having to use a cotton pad. Y'all know I'm team cleansing oil or cleansing balm. You just put it in your face and it's easy to rub all over. This is kind of, I find very unwieldy. And I don't like having to put the cotton pad here and hold it on my eye to get my mascara off. And when I use it that way, I hop in the shower after doing that, take a gentle cleanser to my face, get out, and there's still mascara residue all over the place. I've tried this multiple times and I cannot, I can't get these micellar waters to really work for me. The only one I found to be effective and non-irritating is the Bioderma one. This is $5.59, whereas the Garnier one is $8.99 uh, for 13 and a half ounces. So this is a substantial savings, free of fragrance. Um, I just could not get these to work. And you do want to give them a good shake before you use them but nonetheless I just find that they're not they are not I, I don't know I can't get them to to work in my favor but if you're someone who likes the Garnier one try this because you're definitely saving money and it's the exact same thing petroleum jelly aka Vaseline this looks and feels and acts exactly like uh, Vaseline 100% petroleum jelly, which is great for the lips, the eyelids, anywhere where you get chafing. It's great as a foot cream. If you have hand dermatitis, you can put this all over the hands, cover them in white cotton gloves, do the moisturizing hand treatment. 
Yeah, this is great. I mean, it, it's it's not any different than, than Vaseline. Uh, works just as well. I mean, in my head, I felt like it was a little bit thinner, but then when I actually compared it side by side to um, Vaseline, there's no difference. Um, so it's a great option. It's great if you get a cut or a scrape, just wash the cut or scrape out with a little uh, soapy water, rinse it clean and put this on over it. It'll protect it from uh, bacteria and things getting in and it'll help facilitate healing. This is also good in the winter time for cutting down on windburn, just serving as a physical barrier. This is $2.40. 49 cents for the 7.5 ounces, whereas Vaseline, name brand Vaseline, is $3.99. So not a huge savings there, but I mean, it adds up. This is the up and up version of uh, Aquaphor Healing Ointment. Same ingredients, and this has a lot a, a more of a waxy aroma to it. They're, uh, they're both free of fragrance, but this one has more of a waxy aroma to it in comparison to Aquaphor. There's definitely an aroma difference between the two. Now, one word of caution with this, in contrast to Vaseline, which Vaseline, petroleum jelly, all the uses that I just pointed out, eyelids, lips, reduce windburn, reduce chafing under the arms, etc., etc. you can do with this. Cuts, scrapes, you can do with, with Aquaphor healing ointment and this. However, you have to be cautious of the fact that this has lanolin in it, which a lot of people, not a lot of people, but you can be allergic to lanolin. Um, so some people, this is not a good option. Uh, and and petrolot, plain petrolatum, plain petroleum jelly, 100% petroleum jelly is a better choice. Um, but this not only has lanolin, it has panthenol, it has bisabolol, and those, you know, there's a remote possibility of developing allergy too. So all that to say, like if you're somebody who uses Aquaphor healing ointment, you find when you use it, you get irritation. It could be related to an allergy or some, you know, sensitivity to any of the ingredients in it. Try plain petrolatum instead. Um, but if you use Aquaphor, you love it, you prefer it to Vaseline, um, try this out. You know, it's, it's very similar, although there is a subtle aroma difference there. Uh, the up and up one is $10.69 for 14 ounces, whereas Aquaphor Healing Ointment is $15.99 for 14 ounces. So it's a matter of, like, that's that's quite a few bucks to save. So it's a matter of how much you are bothered by the subtle aroma difference. It doesn't linger or anything on the skin, but, you know, it may, it may bother you. It didn't bother me. I would gladly repurchase it. But then again, I, I gravitate more towards um, Vaseline or CeraVe healing ointment, which I, pr I prefer CeraVe healing ointment to Aquaphor. I have a video comparing the two, by the way, if you're like, whoa, how does that differ? Check, check that video out. All right, guys, this video is getting pretty long, but that is everything. And this was a lot of fun. So let me know in the comments what other store brands you guys want me to try out and compare to our favorite products. Equate, there's Walgreens, there's CVS, um, there's Kroger. <laughs> yeah, let me know in the comments what other store brands you want me to check out and compare to our favorites. On the end slate, I'm going to link my recent Target Shop With Me video. I go through Target and we check out the skincare. So if you missed that one, check it out next. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.